tip off some free beer sound good to me. That suits me too. Business isn't good at the moment, and finding the gold would be tough. Here's your beer. So what about a tip off? Heard anything? Certainly have. Do you know Jack the Lighthouse Keeper? He was in here last week. Three sheets to the wind. And? He blathered on the whole time that it was his lucky day that he found a valuable ring. And? And I know where Jack hides the key to his chest. I'll bet three street whores to a farm girl. That's where he keeps that ring. Where is the key to Jack's chest? Jack's tower has two rooms. The chest is upstairs, Jack lives downstairs. The key is downstairs. He always hangs it behind one of the posts, back in the corner where the barrels are. All right, anyways, um, guess there's no real point. Now who could teach me like, to pick locks? To get a hundred extra gold pieces. I mean, there is, but I don't see the point. All right. Let's see what we can find here. Hmm. I was expecting some. Oh my god, there's potatoes. Now who could teach me to uh, pick locks? You have a pot thief. Far out. If any of you don't know, potatoes are really rare in this game, and they are also part of uh, permanent cooking recipes. By that I mean an increase to like strength, magic. Uh, dexterity, stuff like that. So, if you find potatoes, make sure you keep them because they're very helpful in the long run. And until until I learn sneaking, I'm probably not going to steal anything from anyone's houses. Uh, but when I do, well, I guess I will steal stuff. There's a face I don't recognize. Don't go wandering outside the gutters if you want to stay safe. Gutters. Gutters. You're a town guard. Damn right, so that means around here, the law is what I say it is. Stay in the gutters and stay out of trouble. How do you say that, gutters? That's weird. Why are there only a few guards about? We are the town's first line of defense. So we were the first people sent to those ruins when they sprang up. Most didn't come back. Or if they did, they were in bad shape. That was before Mendoza and his Inquisition turned up. Now it's his men that go into those ruins. And let me tell you, that's fine by me. There's quite a few different voice actors in this game because you can tell by the different accents. It's pretty unusual for a game, I think. Can you train me? Sure. I could do with a bit of amusement. It'll cost you, though. No, not from him. Yeah, there's like English, then another type of English, then like, I don't know, Irish, then like Australian. So it's kind of weird. Hey. Hello, I'm Finn. You don't happen to have any work to offer? No, I don't. Drat, I've combed every corner of this place. This town is a mess. There are so many people here now, and they all want jobs. Even Flavio can't give me work. What sort of work do you do? Anything! Anything! What can you tell me about Flavio? People say Belshaw is the only man doing something for the farmers. But Flavio has given work to lots of people. Has. But that's changed. Yeah. The warehouse is empty. And he had to get rid of most of us. Yeah, I just dropped the exact same thing on the table again. Do you want to buy a fish stall? No thanks. I'm a farmer. What I know about fish, you could write on the side of a sprat. Someone in the harbour might be interested, though. I have a healing potion for you, from Master Belshaw. Thank you. I can use this. Alright, I don't think I've talked to Flavio yet, so might as well talk to him now. Welcome, welcome. I am Flavio the Merchant. Hello, Flavio the Merchant. I bet you're looking for work. I can't give you any. You'll have to try somewhere else. What do you sell here? Hunting trophies. Skins, claws and teeth are my business. I pay for good catches. I'll even provide you with new arrows. Well, I used to. 
You don't have any work to offer? Since the town gates have been closed, my hunters can't get out. So there is no more hunting, no hunting, no catch, no gold. We all just have to tighten our belts. Do you have any jobs that can be done in the town? Ah, uh, well, there's one thing. We all could really use a delivery of meat. Where does it need to go? Master Belcho needs it. You just have to get the meat from the slaughterhouse. I've already talked to Baxter down there, but he wants ten skins before he'll hand over any meat. So you want me to find these skins? If you manage that, then at least we'll have some meat. Don't you have any skins? After all, you deal in them. No, my stores are empty. The Don's men have helped themselves too many times. My boys, Pavel or Cole, might have a lead. Maybe they know something. Where can I find Baxter? In the slaughterhouse at the harbor. He runs the meat trade here. He's quite a jovial fellow, but he takes his job very seriously. What's in it for me, if I come up with the skins? You want to be paid for your work. I don't have much. I can offer a few arrows, and you'll make some friends. Okay. I'll find these skins for you. Thanks. Five boar skins and five wolf skins. And take them to Baxter. Once you have the meat, take that to Master Belshaw. Alright, I think I have uh, almost enough. Uh, let's just... First I'll just take these coins. Oh wow, I have only one wolf skin. I've got four boar skins, so that's good enough. Do you know where I can get some skins? I don't have any. I can't get any either. But some citizens have decorated their houses with skins. Just saying, in case you wanted any. Yeah, that'd be stealing though. Well, there aren't a lot of wolves and boars to hunt in town. And if you haven't brought any skins with you, all you can do is check with the merchants. Oh, and the slaughterhouse might have some left. Alright, so I don't think he's going to give us any skins. What? No. Let's just trade with him, see if he has any skins. Out I need of, a like, curiosity. No. That's not good. Alright, let's go to Cole. See what he has. Oh my god, where the hell is Cole? Oh, I think he's in the hole. Cole in the hole. Well. Wow. Yeah. It's a pretty weird name for an area in the gutters, the hole. It doesn't even look that bad. You better not touch anything here. Do you know where I can get skins? Skins? It's hard to get much of anything in town, but I hear Baxter swaps his meat for skins, if you have enough. That's why I'm here. Do you have skins? I still have one. You can have it. Thanks. How can I get hold of more? Haven't a clue. Parvel might, though. He is, uh, well, was a hunter, too. In good times, we were never short of skins. Yeah, I only need four more skins. That's three wolf skins and one boar skin. I remember there was a boar skin here, so I'm going to take it. Because I can. What the hell was that? Oh, never mind. Holy crap, there's a pearl. Shit. Thief! God damn it, how the hell did he see me? Ah, oh, I was just too slow, I guess. Yeah, well, let's try that again. Hopefully, we won't get caught. Even though we probably will. Okay. Come on. Okay, there's the pearl, there's the boar skin, and now let's leave. Anyways, um, I think that's pretty much everything done in this part of uh, the gutters. There's only one more quest to do, and that's um, Master Belshua's quest. Uh, so let's just finish that off. Now I'm also going to have a talk to Delgado. Uh, well, because of that quest involving Josh, I want to see if uh, there's some specific dialogue. I'm supposed to give you this healing potion from Master Belshaw. Ah, oh, thank you. Refugees stick together, eh? 
Alright. And now let's talk to Delgado. Huh. Too risky. I want to be... No, we still can't learn anything from him. And there seems to be no dialogue uh, about Josh, so... I guess I'm happy. Anyways, now let's go into the lower section of the gutters, which is over here. And this area, it's... There's like only a few houses, there's... Nothing interesting at all here. Well, not much. But I just want to check something. I've never been over here, so I'm just going to save. And kind of explore this game, because I have never been like on the roofs of houses in this game. 